Today, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you can do in nursing school to completely ruin your chances of becoming a successful nurse. My name is Nicole Whitworth, and I'm the founder of Your Nursing Tutor. I'm going to be telling you this today so that you can not do this thing and become a successful nurse. I help nursing students get through nursing school confidently and calmly by teaching you how to study exactly the way that you need to in order to train your brain to think like a nurse so you don't have to rely on your professors, you don't have to rely on random YouTube videos, you don't even have to rely on me as a tutor to spoon feed you the information, but you will know how to study efficiently and effectively on your own and do what you need to do to become a great nurse. So what's the one thing that you can do to completely ruin your chances of becoming a successful nurse in the future? It's nothing. Doing nothing. Okay, let me explain by telling you a story about a student I had once who did exactly that. I'm not going to tell you her name for obvious reasons. Uh, I worked with her early on in my tutoring career. And uh, when I was still sort of before I had actually started my official business, so I was still doing a lot of tutoring for free because I had started tutoring, if you don't know, when I was in nursing school, my school hired me during my first semester because I was already just kind of naturally tutoring my classmates and they hired me as the official school tutor paid me and everything. And so when I graduated, they didn't have anybody to replace me. So a lot of the students I had been working with while I was still in school myself, they continued calling me and asking for help. And a lot of them I worked with and I just did it for free because I firmly believe that nurses should help their young, not eat their young. <laughs> so if you're like that, if you feel the same way, you're in the right place. But uh, I was working with these students for free and there was this one student who kept calling me and asking me if I could help her. She was having trouble with her classes. She was having trouble with the, the final exams. And, um, and so I would talk with her and I said, okay, um, this is what you need to do. And I would give her an assignment on something to study so that she could come back and explain it to me, what she had done, what she had reviewed. It wasn't anything crazy. I'm not like a lot of, <laughs> Uh, some of your professors that you have that doesn't give guidelines. I clearly told her what I needed. Um, part of it needed to be memorized. Part of it needed to be explained. And it was very clear what she needed to do. She called me back a week later and asked for help. And I said, no, you have you done this? Oh, no, no, no. I haven't had time to do that yet. I said, okay, well, that's the help. As soon as you do that, then I will help you some more. And we'll go over that. Um, I did not hear from her for months, months. And I knew exactly why. It's because she was doing that one thing that is going to prevent you from becoming a successful nurse, and that is nothing. She did not do the simple assignment I gave her to do. Um, and months later, she called me and she said, hey, I've been really stressed out. I've had a lot going on. I'm ready to do, uh, do the work. Can you help me? And I said, yes, of course I can. You need to do this assignment. And I gave her the same thing. And she said, okay. And then I didn't hear from her again for months longer. I said, the ball's in your court, call me. You can hear my kids in the background right now. <laughs> I have six of them. She says, call me. I said, call me when, you're, uh, when you got it done. And I didn't hear from her for months. Finally, she does call me and she says, hey, it's been crazy. I need some help, can you help me? I said, have you done this assignment? Oh no, no, I haven't had time to do that. I said, look, I'm busy. I would be happy to help you, but by this time I had started your nursing tutor and I said, but now I need to charge you. So do this assignment and when you finish it, you can book a tutoring session with me. And at that time I charged $75 per hour. Luckily with the VIP tutoring membership that I offer now, I do not have to charge that much and you can still get the same support and um, resources that I used to offer my private tutoring students. Um, but now you also get a great community of supportive and uplifting nursing students to go along with it. I never heard from that student again though. She wasn't willing to do the work. She wasn't willing to pay the money. And so as far as I last I heard from her, she was still sitting in the same dead end job 
she had not ever reached her dream of becoming a nurse because the only thing she was willing to change was nothing. She wanted to, me to snap my fingers and fix whatever was going on, but she can't. In order to think like a nurse, you need to train and, and get better at it. It's a skill like any other skill. It's a skill like driving a car, like riding a bike, and it can be done if you are following good advice and following a good study system that is automatically training you to do that. So don't be like that girl. Don't do nothing. Do something. Even if it's the wrong thing, you will find out that it's the wrong thing. And then once you find out it's the wrong thing, you can try something else. But if you want to skip all the wrong things and just jump straight to what you can feel confident is the right thing based on over 12 years of tutoring nursing students, then I would highly recommend you check out the information on the VIP tutoring membership because I can guide you through the path that will train your brain to think like a nurse if you're willing to do something. And you can find more information about that at yournursingtutor.com forward slash VIP.